So hello everyone, in this video we're going to be doing a comparison between two fuzz pedals. But to begin with, I'm going to show you this. This is my first ever compact guitar pedal I ever bought, the Boss FZ5. Uh, this was before I knew the FZ3 existed, because <laughs> I'm a big Frusciante fan. But um, I got this because I was a big Hendrix fan in the beginning and I needed a fuzz face sort of pedal. And I couldn't get a fuzz face um, in the early days. So I saw Boss made this, and it had some switchable modes. So for a long time, up until this year, so ooh, since 2006 or seven until now, I've always used this as my fuzz pedal, um, as my main fuzz pedal, I should say. I also have a ZVEX fuzz factory. But um, yeah, I've been using this in the fuzz face mode, the Octavia mode. Uh, but now, today I thought I would put it against a rival fuzz pedal. So for Christmas, I ordered one of these. The Tone City Fuchs Fuzz. Um, that's how it's pronounced, that's how it's spelt. So, in this video, we're gonna compare these two. So, let's see what we get out the box. So this is brand new, okay? I haven't played this at all. Today is my first impressions. So I heard a lot about these on YouTube, Tone City, and the pedals are really cheap. So I thought I would take a punt, and they had a Christmas deal on, on the website I got them from. So I could buy two of these, and I got a free power supply. Um, to be honest, the power supply is awful. But I got two, two Tone City pedals to try and replace pedals on my board. I want to make my board a bit smaller. Anyway, let's open up. So inside, nicely packaged, we get the pedal. That is quite small compared to the boss pedal though. Anyway, you get it wrapped up. That's it. Let's have a look. Oh wow. Yeah, you got your tone, the crazy gain switch, volume. That must be the amount of fuzz and Nine volts in, guitar in and guitar out. So it looks good. It's smaller, but feels heavier to me. <laughs> but anyway, it's all about how it sounds, to be honest. What else do you get in the box? So you get a nice little swag pack. Oh, we've got Velcro. I've got loads of Velcro anyway, that's nice. I want an anti-slip, so you get Velcro or the anti-slip pad. And then you get specifications. Oh, there we go, octave up button. That's the crazy game. So if you're interested, there's the there's the details. Anyway, so yes, we're gonna put these two against each other. I've seen lots of videos on FZ1s, FZ3s, even an FZ2 Hyperfuzz, but I've not seen any on an FZ5. Um, but yeah, I'm looking to replace it, so let's go for something smaller. So I'm going to try this Fox Fuzz, and let's let's hear how it sounds. So the setup for this video is going to be from my Stratocaster into the FZ5, then into the Fox Fuzz, and then into the Boss Katana, out the Boss Katana, and into the recording software. So here are the available settings on each pedal. We'll start with the FZ5. Uh, we have modes here for F is fuzz face, M is for a maestro fuzz, and O is for an octave fuzz. So that's supposed to replicate, if I'm in F, the fuzz face, arbiter fuzz face from the 60s, the maestro fuzz made famous by the Rolling Stones, and then the octave pedal fuzz will be an Octavia sort of sound. In each setting, you've got basically a fuzz boost controller. So from zero all the way to 12 o'clock, that would be the normal fuzz amount or gain on the on the original pedal. But Boss have added an overboost feature. So from 12 o'clock all the way to fully cranked, you've got a boost setting. So it gives you more boost than the original pedal. I, I like to use this quite a lot, this section. And then you've got the level control, uh, I mostly run between 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock. 
The only issue I have with this pedal is there's no EQ or tone control. So when you're in the octave mode, it's a bit uh, high pitch frequencies. When you're in the fuzz face mode, it's quite low down. You can't play with the EQ. Whereas we move on to the Fux Fuzz, what we actually have is we have, as well as a volume control, we have a tone control. So that gets rid of that problem. So if you want more treble, you go this way. If you want more bass, you go this way. I found my perfect setting to be about 12 o'clock or between 1, 12 and 11 o'clock. Uh, it has a switch here called Crazy Gain. If you flick it up, you go into octave mode. So this should be comparable to the Octavia. Uh, flick it down and it's its own fuzz sound. Um, here is the amount of fuzz, but to be quite honest, um, I prefer this pedal flat out because all fuzzes should be flat out. Um, if you're stacking it with another pedal, which I may be later, then putting the fuzz about 12 o'clock can help if you're stacking it, but for this video, I found that cranking everything up to the max was about the happy setting, to be honest. Volume again, anywhere between 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Um, and then, yeah, the pretty basic pedals. Obviously, size difference-wise, the Fox Fuzz is a lot smaller than the FZ5. Um, but you can, with the FZ5, you can put a battery in there. You open this compartment up here, if you want to do this. I'll show you. Screw this screw out, and there, you can put... You can put your nine volt battery. So if you don't want to be running a power supply, um, whereas with the Fox Fuzz, to make it smaller, they get rid of the 12 volt battery compartment. So you're having to do a nine volt power in. So for this video to keep it the same, I've used a power supply for both. They're both hooked into a nine volt power supply. To be honest, I don't really like this one I've got. This just came free with the pedal when I bought the because I had a, an order over a certain amount, I got a free uh, daisy chain. And to be honest, I don't like it. I don't use that on my regular board. The daisy chain creates too much hiss. You'll hear that in the video with the, with the demo. You'll hear a lot of high pitch frequency. So it's probably the power supply. Um, anyway. Yeah, so we're going to go guitar into the FZ5. Daisy chain into the... Uh, sorry. Not daisy chain. Effects cable from one patch cable. There we go patch it from the FZ5 to the fuzz and then out of here. We're going into the boss katana Right, okay, so enough of me talking. Let's demo these pedals uh, sounds only <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.
So, verdict. Well, I'm very familiar with the FZ5, and throughout the test, it was the most versatile. And definitely with this overboost function, it had a lot more gain and it had miles of volume. The only way to this could keep up was if you turn the volume all the way up. And for a long time going through it, I was a little bit, not disappointed, but I wanted more from this. And then the magic happened. See, I've not played with this yet. This, those were my f first goes with it. So the octave switch was okay. It sounded like an Octavia. But when I moved the tone to 12 o'clock and I just ran it flat out on the gain, that's when this came alive. And it's a very specific, particular sound. To me, it sounded like an FZ3. So something this can't do. So I guess if you want to have a fuss face on steroids, then you get the FZ5 and you crank it all the way up. But if you want the very specific, raspy, creamy fuzz tone, or something like an FZ3, then I'd definitely get the Fuchs fuzz. Um, anyway, so now I'm just gonna play you out with my favorite setting, which is the tone all the way at 12 o'clock, the volume about one o'clock, not in the crazy gain mode, but with the fuzz all the way maxed out. 